And hello folks, this is your old pal Uncle Cloud. It's been a busy day, okay? I try to stop by at the uh, Alpine Preparedness live stream. It was a very good live stream. Uh, I tell a lot of people, you have to think of the bigger picture. And a lot of people forget the long-term effects. Uh, if you remember the Bible, what did God tell Noah? Next time, fire and ice. Well, if that much ice from the Antarctica would fail, half of Antarctica would melt. You could live on Antarctica, except it'd be dark. It'd be like Canada, cold. But there won't be life forms. People will try to terraform it. And what I'm worried about, on the other side of Antarctica, it might hit Africa or Australia or South America. And people that, well, I don't want to hear it. Because the long-term effect, if that ice did fell into the ocean, short-term effects, you have coastal flooding. Long-term effects, you have 10,000 years of a new ice age. Okay? So a lot of people don't see the books or history or a history in front of them. Go see my last video about the sheeple effect. All right? When it snows... And Florida's gone, and Gulf of Mexico all comes all the way up to the Salton Sea. Then you realize that, whoops, we goofed up. Okay? A lot of people don't realize before the other Ice Age, we had a warming period. Okay? It was a very pleasant warming period. And after that, we had the Ice Age. And a lot of people that like, uh, uh, e -oo -ah, because the Ice Age sucked up a lot of water out of the atmosphere and on land. And if people were right on the carbon thing, which they're always wrong, we would have been dead in 1979. It's their own basic mathematics. Okay, enough about that. It was a very good life stream. I enjoyed it. I liked prepping with Sarge. Now, I did give out this uh, information for what was happening. Now, months ago in January, I've been warning people about this, and everybody was laughing Old Uncle Al. Okay? Old Uncle Al watches the bond. And last year, instead of keeping the interest rate stable and stabilizing inflation and not going to war, that war makes us money. No, it doesn't. Short term, it causes us damage. Okay? A lot of people didn't realize this, like in the Vietnam War. But it made money. No, it didn't. It screwed up a lot of things. Even Eisenhower knew this and warned about the military-industrial complex. But Nixon didn't care. And Johnson didn't care. And Kennedy didn't care. Okay? Here's the big picture of the whole thing, folks. All right? February 28th. Uh, over a thousand bonds came to do to date, February 28th. I did a lot of videos. I warned it. It was in my description. I did tell everybody it's going to be a quiet SHTF. And everybody laughed at old Uncle Al. Now, who's laughing at old Uncle Al? All right. Way the bankers or banksters been gangstering around. And the way the federal government and state government have been screwing around. Remember the triad system? Social Security, pensions, and your savings. Well, they messed up savings. They messed up pension. Because pension, a lot of pension blocks are hooked up into bonds and stocks. Okay? A lot of people don't understand that. All right? But I have a pension. I have Social Security. Uh, you have nothing. All right, that's why Uncle Alan's a pirate. And people look at me. So you wear an eye patch and you wave a sword? No, I run through you with the sword and gut you and cut off your head because you're a dumbass. Uncle Alan's serious. This is a real financial economic warfare at the best. All right, people in the know will survive and get richer. People, everybody else, you're going to be a smurf. Okay.
You want to beat economic warfare? Economic warfare is here. Save money in the easy way. Grow a garden. It's tasty, it's patriotic, and it's not racist. Next black person or a Hispanic person tells me it's racist, and it's usually it's Generation Z, I'm kicking them in the nads. All right? Two, that supplements your food income. And the big problem is a lot of you guys don't understand that. For a family of four, it takes 4,000, uh, not 4,000, sorry. Family of four, it takes a thousand quart jars to feed them one year of what you have to put away in your garden. Okay, this is why I tell a lot of people look at other me methods like dehydration, okay, like freeze drying and salting. Okay, if it wasn't for salt and salt crops, America wouldn't be alive today. Lewis and Clark wouldn't cross the Great Plains or the desert. Nobody on the East Coast would have survived. Okay, that's why you, they live near the coast. Salt. Where do you go in, worse it gets. And I've been reading the story about the salt, salt wars in the East Coast. And it was brutal. I mean, people were killing each other. Even the uh, Native Americans who live here. They had great battles. They were like over 10,000 men killing each other for what? Salt. Okay? Now, if you want to do a good deed, help Lori's Thrifty Kitchen Pantry. She has 137 subs. I think a boost up. I think she did about 158 videos and I think about three shorts. I'm not too sure. I have to update that. We need 365 people to send Lori $2.75 and, and, uh, to help her out. She survived rehab the nursing home from hell. And she's still recovering. And I, like I said, I'm praying for her recovery. Okay. Help her out. And like I said, take it easy, Lori. Don't push yourself. You know, if they treated you that bad, they could have killed you. All right? And then I have to promote myself. Just say no to Captain Crazy and Crew. Join Die Bullfrog 79 Hit the like button. Leave a nice comment. Send money. $2.17. See PayPal below. Stop the madness. Now, what I do with the $2.17... I buy food to distribute. That's why I'm usually late and I have a real life not connected with this illusion. Okay? Stop the madness. Keep calm. Don't panic. Carry on. Save America from 2040. The horrors. That's 17 years, folks. Time's running out. Sorry, this has been a long one. Last year, uh, Brandon, as we know, can't say his name because they'll dock me, but Brandon put $25 billion into the pension system, all pension system, U.S. private, you name it, $25 billion. That was a Band-Aid, okay? And in December of last year, 2022, he had the feds do interest rates on bonds it's like wait you put a band-aid on the bond market and then you poke holes i mean seriously they gutted the hell they gutted the hell out of the interest rates and a lot of people look at me and they still don't get it february 28th all those bonds should have 30 percent interest instead they had 10 15 and barely 20 percent interest if it was kept at 30 percent they were covered everything wouldn't have the second bank going because they put a lot into bitcoin okay crypto they put a lot of it into startup tech companies all right, they did not get their interest back and they borrowed heavily on their stockholders and 
people who invested in the bank with savings okay they're in the boat they had to liquidate and sell whatever bonds that they had which will recover in about two years but now they lost all their money and they have to sell the bonds okay now this is going to be a long one because I want to do a cooking video, but a lot of people ask me a question. What was February 28th? What was the cause of the bond market and why it's affecting everything? Go look at the current stock prices. You'll find out real soon in June when the Chinese dump all the American dollars back to the U.S. That's a trillion dollars. You want to see hyperinflation go? Because the Fed's been printing out money hand over fist okay trillion dollars we're screwed okay this is my simple white gravy one tablespoon of flour one tablespoon of butter three quarters cups of milk it's going to be written down below one fourth teaspoon of chicken bouillon okay because of chicken flavoring and the salt and then white pepper to taste. Okay. This is for our cornbread chicken pot pie. You could use canned chicken. You could use ugly chicken that you canned yourself. I always can a lot of side meat. And I put it in there with bones and all. Or I have boneless. Like I did today. I did four trays of chicken pot pie. I'm going to how to cook. And I use veg all. Okay. Dump it in. You got the chicken already there. You got the white gravy. Now, you can increase the amount. Uh, you have to figure out this is for one person. I figure it out for 25 persons so I have a big kettle and I pour it in into each tray I put in the chicken ugly chicken canned chicken doesn't matter I drain and put in one can of veg all all right it's simple it's not rocket science folks I had four packs of these all right it's tasty and light Plus, after it's done, I put it in the trays. I take it out of the trays, put it in the boxes. They had a green salad. They have a small half cup, styrofoam cup of white gravy if it's too dry. It, it's very tender and moist. I didn't eat that. I made a separate dinner when I got back home. I'm busy. All right? YouTube is a hobby. Okay, folks? It's nice. I don't want to promote myself like everybody else. And all those people who have, yeah, I have 5,000 subs and blah, blah, blah. They won't last. And sometimes it'll hit the fan and like either they go into the light, disappear, they get bored, or reality slaps them across the face. All right? I'm just old and out. I do this for fun. And it's fairly easy to do. It's not hard, folks. That's cornbread. Okay? It makes a nice top. When you cut it out, you take out the bottom and you put it into a tray or plate. You serve a green salad. You have cornbread. You have the chicken and white gravy with vegetables. <clears throat> a complete meal by itself. And then you add the salad. Okay, also I baked four trays of cookies. Okay, because people were getting sick of my cupcakes. So I put bran in them. It's good for them. Okay, that means nobody got food poisoning. Everything I made sure went through. Okay, it's not past the buck here. If Uncle Alan does something, I'm carrying through. Okay, now... A lot of you people are panicking, and I, like I told you, we're going to have bank runs. So you should have enough money for 18 months. All right? 
put that down in your little head write it down okay make sure if you're on a pension social security be surprised all right but I have a military pension I have pension from Boeing I have a pinch I don't care if I'm right you don't have okay you don't have nothing remember unless you have oil silver and gold you don't have crud and paper money only works for the first 18 months if I'm right and the Chinese dump that money after the this summer and next spring they're going to dump it in two batches half a trillion dollars each this summer and then next spring you're screwed okay then we go into a deflation cycle not inflation deflation that's when everything goes kaput all right so i hope i didn't scare you this is common knowledge i'm safely here i figured out all the factors i have backup i know what what to do if it gets really serious and i go like this long live the republic do something good buy a can of, of vegetables or a can of meal like ravioli or uh, macaroni and cheese or a can of soup and take it to your local food bank because a lot of these food banks are running short and Collins always has his filled to the rim one way or the other because I'm not like other places where they're begging for food or throwing away food or mishandling food okay I'm tight I'm mean I know what I do okay now remember pick up a can of food for your local food bank to help them out it's a good deed and helps a lot of people second thing is your contacts okay you want to make that contact with people when you network or social contact, it has it's not supposed to be YouTube or on the phone or on the internet or social media. It's person to person contact. Now a lot of people trust me and they always email, question, ask me stuff, you know, and I tell them, okay, you know, I had a couple people wanting to buy houses and I told them let's drive out there okay because this is right before and right after the um what you call my grocery runs this morning and then i had uh what you call had some time before i had to head back to the church and cook dinner tonight and i sh showed them and they were shocked the house they were going to buy in the new sub development i told them it's in a flood zone and there's like three feet of water and the house that they were going to buy that were building up fell okay because of that much rain and the foundation washed out they were just building it about a week ago and now it's all right uncle Alan knows stuff all right folks so like i said i'll catch you later i'll be seeing you long live the republic do something good be a nice person sorry this took so long i had a long day and after this in a few minutes i'm going to put up what i had for dinner okay bye now